Misha to get her off the teacher's back. So what do you want? Need? What do you need? Here's a list. I can try to find the plywood from somewhere if there's none in the art room. Oh, see, art room. She offers me the note she's holding. I take it, hesitating a bit. I said I'd help you, but there's no implications on whether I'm joining the council or not. Ah, huh? He he knows. By now, I would have forgotten. <laughs> so thanks, Chen. Try to be quick, and we are in still 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 building with streak. Stall. Oh my God, I can't even say. We are in a stall building streak now. We must hurry, hurry, hurry. God, I'm so bad at reading. Wow, that plastic cup just made a freaking puddle of water. <laughs> she runs out of the glass and leaving me and the teacher looking at each other with something that feels like a silent agreement. Well, there you have it, Nakai. You have something to do now. Please don't sound so smug. Looking at the li oh wait, <laughs> oh, voice. Looking at the list with the number of items ranging from paint to plywood, all written with small, neat handwriting that is undoubtedly Shizum's I heave a sigh. I'll be going then. The waving the long list limply at the teacher, I exit to the hallways. No, please, please, not the face, not the face. The glass of closes to ours are designed, designated, 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 I can't even talk once I drink the freaking soda. Designated belonging to classes 3 1 and 3 2. On t the right side, 3 4 on the left side, with each door looking exactly the same. Further down the corridor, still with identical doors, are rooms that I didn't think were used for classes. I guess the art room is not a classroom as such. I carefully push open the furthest door and peek in. You found the art room. That was workshop. It's a classroom, but it seems rather badly kept or not in use. Am I in the right place? Desks and chairs all around the room. A thin layer of dust settled down on them. On them. There are some easels in the corners, so at least this looks like a, the right place. The room is flushed in sunlight, and the big window's shadow is creeping all over the desks. Whoa, that's not creepy. Specks of dust are dancing in the stagnant air, making the beams of light almost visible. Jokingly, I call into the empty room. Anybody ho Something catches my eye, and I stop mid-sentence. Wait. She's hitting with a foot. Oh, she has no arms. Oh. Well, darn. That almost sucks. Sitting on a desk is a short-haired girl, curiously wearing a boy's uniform with a fork between her toes and a morsel of food stuck firmly at the end. This odd way of dining seems to be caused by her apparent lack of hands, but her presence here is that what takes me aback even more. How did I miss her before? Is she sitting in a corner, very still, but I still somehow took her as a part of the furnishing or a statue at first glance? <sighs> oh my bad. I'm being too observant today as a whole. The girl seems to be frozen in place, staring at me with her huge eyes like a rabbit and headlights. More like a deer. It's a deer. She's staring at me with, with her mouth wide open, ready to accept the fort. I'm staring at her, my mouth wide open. What? <laughs> so only remember I didn't finish my sentence and trying to think of if I should. This weird stalemate make, keeps us both stunned each time it's punctuated only by the wall clock ticking rhythmically. Hello. The girl stuffs a fork full in her mouth and so now staring at me expectantly while chewing. This is a bit awkward. Um, hello. I was here to. to I was told to pick up some supplies from here. For some festival stalls, I think. I didn't think there would be someone here. There isn't. That's why I came here too. She picks up another fork. How does she do that? Like, if you could. If you. If you could. If you. If you lose your arms and you have to eat like that. That would be really weird, but cool at the same time. Doesn't that mean you're here then? She raises her eyebrows as if she was suspecting my observation as false. You are pretty observant, I guess it does. I guess it does, but who are you? The girl is pretty straightforward, isn't she? I'm Nakai. Hisao Nakai. I just transferred in on Monday. Monday! I'm Rin. Tenza Tezuka. Rin. Rin Tezuka. I won't shake hands with you, but at least we know who we are now. She looks really stoned. That's very nice. Her deadpan manner of talking makes it hard to determine whether she's joking about shaking hands or not. It kind of bothers me joking about these ma matters doesn't feel appropriate at all. 
While I'm trying to figure out what's appropriate and whether this girl is, she seems to have lost interest in me. When I was gazing yearningly, yearningly back at her food. Can I continue my lunch? If you don't mind, I won't mind you. Uh, this uh, does not approve. If you need to get yourself and the supplies are at the back. You're right ahead, but lunch goes ready over for the day. What? What would, would you use then? There is no word for a meal. You eat after lunch, but before dinner, right? It bothers me too. Very much too. But I don't really know what I should say. It's called a snack. It's a snack. I don't think you're supposed to eat a meal between lunch and dinner to begin with. But I'm hungry now and my delicious box lunch would go to waste otherwise. I have curry. It's very delicious. Okay, that's very random. And you're smiling about it? Are you proud of yourself? Hmm? Begin. Look at that headlight. That was a skylight. What much to see if this Rin once again picks up the fork between her toes and with at least as much impoliteness she points it straight at me. Okay, back to this, okay. So Nakai, what brings you to this place? Like I said, I was told to look for these things. No, the school. From outside you like fine. Is your problem inside? I could do a full stop opening my mouth and, but not getting a word out. I I can guess. I'm good at guessing, better than most people. Oh god. Please don't say the butt. Please don't say the butt. Rin cuts me off before I can answer a question. Or skirt around skirt around it somehow. I don't know which I would have done. I froze in front of this issue again. I haven't even told anyone here about my condition. Or maybe it's only because it hasn't really come up. I do get the feeling that not making issues this is a part of the social code here. As the, te as the teacher said. I wonder if the people here could relate. Probably not any better than any, any normal person could. I can't relate to Shazin's circumstances or these either. either. Naturally, I, while I go through this in my head, Ren keeps considering what my condition could be. With an overtly contemplative, contemplative look on her face. She puts her fork between her lips and leans back, looking at the ceiling as if the answer was written up there. Nope, it is written on my... I guess, I don't know what the scar is. I think what the heart is. The beam of light illuminates her face. Wow, there's a lot of imagery right here. It illuminates her face from the window side, creating a mask of dark shadow on the other side. I don't think it's anything in your head. And something something in your head would be boringly ordinary, like this lunch of mine. And looks delicious. The problem must be in your... In my pants. No. This messed up Sherlock Holmes kind of statement and the sheer lack of tact. It was delivered with catches. With, with catches me completely off guard. I think I might have re reeled back even physically as Rin's eyes widened in re revelation and astonishment. So I was right. There's something wrong with your tackle, isn't there? Still practically in shock. But not recognizing the need to reply something, I spit out the first thing I what I can think of. No, nothing like that. I have a heart problem. Arrhythmia. I said it. More like blurted it out. But I said it. The girl in front of me, of, of me, presses her lips together and glow, glowers at me, looking very disappointed. How boring. Trouble in the pants would have been so much more scandalous. What's with this reaction? I'm sorry to let you down. I forgive you, just I collect people and per a person with you, you know, what kind of problem would have been really great. Dark Souls is 50% off, prepare to die edition. <laughs>